Okay, this is the complete assembly with the struts, skids, battery mount, and it's been already installed to the Blade NQX frame. Now, the reason for the uh, white stands here is to give the helicopter or the Blade NQX a little more stability uh, when it's uh, static before it takes off and also when it lands. It also has spring to it and this is to cushion some of these faults. Now I want to point out that anytime that you add a structure such as this landing gear or a camera mount to a um, uh, to a model such as this one, a quad rotor or even a helicopter, you're going to introduce some some bit of a weight there that's going to have an impact on your on your sensors there obviously because of the additional weight now when I'm talking about additional weight I'm not talking about a huge amount of weight I'm talking about that this is very lightweight but it is going to change the dynamics and you cannot expect a helicopter or the quad to fly as it flies in stock forms it's just not you know it's a balancing act there you have to be you know you have to be uh, able to accept those things so this particular landing gear is not designed for aerobatics it's designed to give it a little more structural rigidity and suspension mainly to the uh, to the to the blade MQX uh, at the trade of perhaps a little more weight and a little less stability so keep those things in mind unfortunately uh, uh, the way the blade MQX is designed there's no way to adjust the uh, the gyro sensors um, and so you're stuck with the, with the, with that particular setup. Uh, the landing gear. So the major benefit of this particular landing gear is to prevent the helicopter or the quad from landing on these points here. And I I did the same thing with the Wakira uh, Ladybird. Is that you know they they expect people to land on these uh, on the motor brackets or on the, on the actual motor in, in the case of the what here at Lady Birth, you know the motor sticks out and you land hard so that's the reason why I came up with those little rubber feet on the Wakira Ladybird, uh, a feature which is uh, many people have picked up and, and some have even copied you know in making their own but uh, yeah, you can do that I mean if you if you're if you have the, the you know similar parts but I think you know we provide the kit and it just makes it a little a little more compact and a little ready to go if you if you just purchase the kit. Uh, but in this particular one, you know, we decided to do this full landing gear uh, also to hold the battery, the the key to those uh, popular keychain cameras that are going around or that have been going around for uh, many years now. Uh, the, and the people put on these uh, small models. Now, when I say keychain camera, I don't mean you know a GoPro camera or or or, or you know a bigger camera. Yeah, even key, some keychain cameras are very heavy. And what I'm talking about is just a standard keychain camera. Uh, I, I don't recall the, the particular model, but that's the one that fits on this particular uh, upgrade. And it mounts directly to the foam pad that is supplied in the kit this this foam pad is stuck here with double-sided sticky tape which is also provided in the kit there's two rubber straps here which just strap around the the camera mount and it just makes it for a very simple um, reversible installation you don't have to keep the landing gear on if you want to fly without it you can remove it by reversing the process that I showed in my videos and in my my installation photos that are up on our website so it is reversible and uh, and if you keep those things in mind that I mentioned that anytime you add a landing gear you know you drop the, the, the weight a little bit lower and then particularly on these quads because they are sensitive to to, uh, to they are sensitive to additional weight and if you put cameras and start putting um, uh, additional items uh, special bling you know with metal metal parts I, I don't do metal parts now I've seen some people do these things in metal and aluminum parts and that adds, you know, it looks great, but it adds uh, weight that it's un unnecessary. Even the landing gear here, you don't need it. If you're really good at flying, you don't really, really need it. But I did this mainly because I I tend to land hard on, on, on most models. You know, I, I come down hard, and I really like the, uh, uh, 
the peace of mind that when I land on this, I'm not going to break this and I'm not going to have to replace a boom or, or you know, repair some cracked uh, part here. So this is the reason why I do this. So keep those things in mind. But th that is basically how the landing gear should look. And uh, I will do a, an, another segment of this video showing how this flies with this particular setup. And, uh, you know, for those that have, uh, uh, they want to see this, this model in, in action with, uh, with our upgrades, which is something that I typically do anyway. So anyway, once again, the battery, once with this setup here installed, you're going to have to remove the canopy because it makes it a lot easier to install the battery. You slide the battery from the side. Now notice that how this particular bolt is still out of the way. It's not centered with, with the with the with the opening here but it's on the side and you can slide the battery right in there really easy as I did here so it's not an issue and uh, the only time it, it would become an issue is if you have this particular clip installed uh, opposite uh, to, to the way I, I have it here now notice this clip is facing this is the front and these clips face the inside of this if you use this uh, these two blades as reference you know this would be the inside uh, area here so it's the same way on, on the rear it's not on this they don't they don't they don't face this way but they faced you know their 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 direction is pointing inside this between the two blades here as best as I can describe it and that way it allows the battery to slide in nice and easy see how that's done and this is uh, basically proof of uh, uh, how it works so really this is an option uh, but I'm still not happy because of the way the battery bracket sits it sits uh, you know at 45 degree uh, angle in reference to the the way these things are designed to be flown this is the the front and I really think the battery should be in mind here okay so this is one option and I will do another segment of this video showing the option B